Hey, what's up all my fellow medical marijuana patients, medical marijuana growers, home growers, and straight up potheads. Thanks for tuning into my channel, 420 Nug Grows. In this uh, video, we're going to show you how to uh, put together a DWC system. Uh, one that I'm using, uh, not exactly like I'm using, I'm tweaking it a little bit. The one I have in there before, a lot of the stuff is on top of the DWC system. You can see the hose coming out, going to the plants, everything's going to be underneath this time on the inside and the hose is coming up from the bottom. Um, it's just more convenient that way it looks better and um, I don't have to fiddle with the top or anything and this one here I have problems messing with the water every now and then it just moves by itself from the pump going and shit. So here we go, the things you're going to need, first off and foremost you're going to need a good tote or one of those uh, 2.5 gallon buckets or 5 gallon buckets, those DWC ones. Um, I find these better. You can grow 2 to 4 plants depending on how compact you want them. I was going to grow 4 plants, but now that they're growing and I've seen other videos, I think it's going to be too compact. So now I'm just going to grow 2 in one of these here. And I use about 10 gallons of water um, with my newts in there seems to be working really nice so and the reason you want to get a tub like this and not a cheesy uh, typical Rubbermaid type tub like this is this is real flimsy material not really well made um, over time it breaks down and gets weaker um, this seems to be a better one right here it's more stronger it's stiffer it's all black the bottom frame is a little thicker and more sturdy and I, I put a my phone in here and I had the camera going the video I close the lid no light so if you make it just right you're gonna have no light entering your reservoir getting nothing growing in there and you should be good so other than that you are going to need a pump so the pump I got is this little thing here it's a little fountain pump it's an extra small fountain pump this right here, let's see if we can get you a better one. There we go, put it off to the side a little bit. Um, it pumps, what is it, 70, 70 gallons per hour. Um, it only goes 1.5 feet, but I don't need it to go far. And this is a little piece I'm going to be connecting. This is the longest I need on the tube. I'll show you how to set that up. It comes with a half inch and a quarter inch connector pieces. Uh, we're going to use half inch because that's the that's just the tube we got right now. So you're going to need that pump right here. Connector piece which comes with the pump. You're going to need tubing to connect to the piece here. You're going to need net potting. Uh, I use five inch. You can use three which I don't find to be too handy or great at all because once the plant gets too big it starts leaning a lot and the pot starts when it's sitting there and it gets too big the pot starts pulling out these five inch pots seem to hold a little better um, you still need a trellis your plan is always when it gets big and budding but these seem to hold it up better during the veg and through most of uh, the bloom but you still will need uh, to trellis your stuff um, you're gonna need an air stone air tubing and an air pump which I don't have out here because I got it running in my system over there it's a dual pump so I may have one going to one one going to the other and uh, you can also grab these little root guards here I find them to be very effective they go over the net pot um, they actually reflect some light back up into the into the plant you're gonna need a hole saw set to drill the holes through here uh, I got a five inch hole saw on here which will be perfect to get this uh, hole drilled out. You're going to need some of these things here. These are little um, tube connector pieces for this kind of type of tubing here. You hook the tube in here and they're self tapping. You see a little sharp end? You connect it to there just like this one. And then you pinch it together there, connect your tube, and run it up through the net pot. Um, I'm going to put two hoses to each pot. So I'm going to put four of these total on here and I'll show you guys how to do that um, and a lot of people like to put drain hoses at the bottom you know put a little spigot there and drain it out from there and refill it um, what I have done before and what I like to do is use a drill pump 
Um, this is a new one, and I didn't have, I forgot the clamp, so I taped it up. So I'm gonna hope it works really good and don't suck a lot of air. But the drill pump, you just drill a hole right here with your uh, your hole saw set, the the correct size of the tube. Put it in there with either a rubber uh, gasket or something to put it in there, um, or you can just seal it up with some caulking. I find the rubber gasket is much more effective. You can reuse it, pull it out, in and out. Um, I don't have one right now, so I'm not going to drill a hole for this. What I'll do is I'll just open it up, move it over a little bit, and stick it in there. And that's another good option. You just put it in there, uh, hook it up to your drill. This drill pump, as you see, has a little chuck key there. Uh, it goes in here and out there. It tells you right there. And you stick it in there, you pump it out, and then you can go and you pump it back in. I recommend... Uh, going through this with hot water out of a couple five gallon buckets it could be with tap water and then run a couple like a gallon through it of uh, RO water to get all that stuff out or something you just want to get it really good and cleaned out in there make sure it's running right and it's not putting nothing back else in there so you just want to run a bunch of stuff through it I don't recommend running cleaner because any seals gaskets in there might corrode the cleaners and uh, leak water out through the bottom and then it's no good and you can't use it so make sure you do that. Um, this is a new one, so I'm not sure how good it works. So I'm going to try it out. Might have to get a new one, get an upgrade one. It's kind of small. I expected it to be a little bigger, something like that big. Um, but this one here, it pumps, uh, I couldn't believe it. It was like 250 gallons per hour is what it put. Uh, I did some figuring, and it's got to be somewhere around 2 to 3 gallons per minute. Um something like that so uh, the math I don't think is too right but I think I'm close kind of estimate there something like that so that would be good for a 10 gallon reservoir you'll only be here for a few minutes pumping out pumping in uh, it's better than trying to pick the thing up empty it out and then pick up some more water and empty it back in um, so that's pretty much all you'll need um, let me get things set up and I'll show you uh, where I'm going to drill the holes, how I'm going to set everything up, and um, we'll be right back. Let me get this going, clean this mess up a little bit. One more thing before I get that. This little pump here, this little fountain pump, I got at Walmart for like $14. Like $14 for this, uh, it was like $6 for this, uh, a couple dollars for each net pot, a dollar twenty-five for the root covers, uh, these little end caps, here, oh, these right here. Didn't get to those. These here are little uh, eight uh, cutoff. Uh, what the heck are they called? Figure eight hose closures. So what it was supposed to do. This is for a half inch. It's supposed to go in this one and come back out this one, and it's supposed to cap it off. But this was supposed to be. <clears throat> excuse me. This was supposed to be half inch tubing. It's half inch. It fits on this half inch coupler here. But as you can see, I had to fold it and. Uh, Put one end in, fold it, and then shove it back in, and that works just fine. It leaks, doesn't leak at all. I've already tested it. Nothing comes out here. All the water comes out of these little spouts here. And these little spouts, when you connect them on, they're airtight. So once they're on there, they're on there. You ain't leaking no water, so you're not losing no pressure from your pump, uh, and you're all good. And these things were probably about 250 I think, and then these were around the same price. This airstone was $2.99. Uh, this tubing actually I had from my other one, and I only think it was like $3.99 for five feet at the hydroponic store. Uh, this stuff here I got, if you see my last video, I got for free at the ponic store. They hooked me up with it. Um, other than that, uh, I had the hole saw, I had the drill. Uh, this tubing here, I got a bunch of this tubing, real cheap, uh, dollar. 50 I think it was at Walmart on sale normally like 250 or something like that so uh, the stone 299 uh, the this drill pump uh, the connector pieces I actually got hooked up at the hydroponic store for free too uh, the drill pump was 899 at Walmart we'll see how good that does and how long it lasts but one second let me get cleaned up and we'll get this going all right first thing I want to show you is how to put the tube together this is all the tubing you need 
for the the main part the rest is the drip line tubing so all you need is this piece here they're uh, self piercing just open it up where you want it you know say it's somewhere right there it's easier to kind of to kind of pinch it a little bit and then just push it until it pops in get in there last one just popped right in there the first one oh it's almost in there That does not want to go in there for some reason. There it goes. Bam. A little bit of a pain in the ass. But it goes on there. And then all you got to do. Tighten that sucker up. Spread it out a little bit. And they're on there. That's it. And then just to test it out, airtight. It's going to be airtight, watertight. Once you put the drip lines on, run them up to your thing, your uh, net pots through the bottom, you're all good to go. So now let's move on to the reservoir. So as I said before, I use these big, thicker, all black ones. You get no light on the inside. Um, I actually got two tops here. The other one I got is a four uh, net pot grow system. Um, and this one I'm going to do two only because I think once all four plants get into bloom, they're going to be too big and too crowded. So I'm just going to break it down to two in each one of these 10 gallon. Uh, these are 20 gallon tubs here, but I'm only filling with 10. And, um, I'll show you how to do that right now. I'm going to do both of these as two. The one I got in there is for four. I'm going to use that just for vegging. Put them together into one. It's better than having two. Use less water, yet less newt. So we'll just put them all in one during veg. And once I transition to bloom, I'll just take the whole top off. And I'll put it into, the, into another bucket. And just uh, move two of the plants from one. And there you go. Now, what you're going to need to do is this side how you're going to do it. My last one, everything came up through the top. Very inconvenient. Everything's in the way up here when you try to do things. Um, when you're trimming, when you're trying to train, it's just all in the way. So some people do everything on top like I did at first. I found it to be kind of a mistake. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my hose through here and my power cord through this notch and I'm only going to put my net pot holes up here. So all you're going to have up here is my net pot holes my net pots filled my hydrogen and my plants so you just gotta decide how you want it here 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 I'm gonna put a one on each side far, the farthest corner away from each other so they just have that area right here to spread out to bush up I can train it to go this way I can train this one to go that way and then up so I can maximize my space in here and uh, try to get better uh, colas out of everything once I train everything Alright, so basically you just take it, move it down, just get a nice good leverage. It's not going to move around. Decide where you want it. Um, as you can see, this 5 inch one is going to be, this 5 inch hole saw is going to be perfect for the net pots. It fits right in this thing, right in this groove. And you want it to be flat. You don't want to do it here. Your net pot's not going to sit in there right, and you're going to get gaps, and you're going to get light. And you're going to cause you to grow, grow algae and all kinds of other stuff you don't want. So it's very simple, you just start going away. 